everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the Playmobil Advent Calendar. I want to thank the company so much for sending this to me for free to check out with you guys. This looks fun. I'm so excited. We've got some indoor as well as some outdoor fun. There are 92 pieces in this calendar, which is crazy. And I don't know, I think if we flip it, it might spoil it. Let me, let me take a little peek. Oh, actually it doesn't. Well, it kind of does a little bit. I'm sorry, but you know, not too badly. <laughs> it doesn't have each individual piece listed. It does look like we're going to get some fun little cookie cutters that you can use this holiday season as well as all of these little accessories. So let's go ahead and start opening this calendar up. Okay. This is what the advent calendar looks like. It's a little tall, so you don't see the full thing, but we have door number one through 24. And then we also got this, which is our like little house and setup, which I'll set up in just a second. We also have our little advent calendar book. It shows us everything that we got inside. I don't want to open it unless we need to, so we don't spoil anything for ourselves, but trying to get this set up here. Now, let's see. I have to I have to snap it together but it's like a little pop-up thing you can see it's really cool so you have like a piece of house and a piece of outside so you can have a lot of fun playtime and then we do have this like I guess divider if you will where we put it here for the house I think actually I'm not sure which direction it goes I think it'll have to go this way because this will be the side of the house. So I'm gonna have to assemble that and then we can start opening up all, our, all of our goodies. Now I wasn't sure how I wanted to do this opening because I wanted you guys to see that little cardboard pop-up scene we got, but I think I'll just do a display at the end. I'll put everything set up on that. Um, and we'll just focus on the calendar. So I turned it sideways just so you can see the whole thing um, because it's taller than it is wider. Now we'll start with door number one. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh goodness. I can't get into door number one. Oh my gosh. It's like really, there we go. Goodness. All right. Door number one, we have a person. I'm going to assume somebody baking because I see an apron. Yes, we have an apron. Look at her cool shirt. It has snowflakes on it. That's awesome. That's so cool. Uh, I kind of want to, oops, I got to make sure it's focused there. Put it against the dark background so you can see it. And then she has this apron that snaps on. Little cookies on the apron. Super cute. Playmobil figure. Of course, heads move, arm moves, and she can sit. Love it. I'm going to just set her over there and we're going to move on to door. Number two, hmm, where's door number two? Okay, you kind of can see half of door number two here. What do we have? Oh, here's some of our cookie cutters. So let's get these open. And these are kind of like, not really for the scene. These are for you to use um, in your own baking. So we have like a little Santa head, uh, mm, angel kind of thing. And then, mitten. I actually don't know. Somebody help. What is this? Am I, I might be looking at it the wrong way. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then we have this, which is a little stamper. Hold on. Let's see if I can put it together. A little um, stamper for your cookies. All right. And then door number three. I'm glad we got that early on too. So you can do your Christmas cookie baking with all of it. All right. Door number three looks like it's a fireplace or part of a fireplace. Now I'm assuming I got to put stickers on later at some point. How do I, is it a fireplace? It's a counter. Oh, it's a, is it a counter countertop? I don't know. I'm assuming so. Um, I want to make sure it's right before I dedicate myself to snapping these in. I think that's correct. I feel like I need, I need to get the picture so I could see. I think this is it. Yeah. All right, I'm having trouble, honestly, getting this in here because that's that's larger than this side, so it has to go this way. Yes, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I was going to say, it's not fitting in that way, and it looks weird. So perfect. We've got the countertop there. Door number four. All right, it's up here. What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, is this like a mixer? I actually don't know what it is. Let's see, maybe it's something. Oop. Oh yeah, it's a mixer. It's like, I have a little, well, I have a regular size KitchenAid. 
Um, that's kind of what it is, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Is this right? This doesn't seem right. Hmm. Do I put it here? I feel like... No, it's it's right. It's supposed to be like an arm that comes out this way. This way. It comes out this way. Alright, so it is right. It's a little weird. <sighs> I think it's... I don't know. We're going to say it's good enough. And then you have like different attachments. So we have this one. I'm wondering if you're supposed to be able to move it. I think you're supposed to be able to move it up and down, which is good. Um, yeah, it definitely went in because obviously you put the bowl in later and like you can't get it out after this. I mean, I guess you could. Um, and then you have different attachments. So here's like the little bread hook. That's so cute. All right, moving on to door number five I have over here. Whoop. Can't get it. There we go. It looks like we might have some plates and mixing bowls. These are just nesting mixing bowls, which always good for baking, always good for the kitchen, always good for everything. I have tons of these. I have three different sizes. And then door number six. Don't know where that is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's kind of down at the bottom. Can't quite see it. We have Santa. It looks like Santa. I think there's three, no, sorry, there's four total people in here. I thought there were only three for a second. But of course, we've got to have Santa. Oh no, I'm losing some of his pieces here. So there's the base of Santa. We've got his Santa hat, which I may or may not be able to get on his head. I don't know. There we go. And then we have some like little cuffs for his arms to make him look like a fuzzy jacket make it look like a fuzzy jacket. It's hard to get these things on, honestly. Like how the heck? I think I was putting them on wrong. There we go. I think I had it upside down. And then put this one on. And ta-da, there's Santa. And we have his list. So he does have his list with him. Or a note, anyway. It's Santa's no a note he got earlier. All right, so that was five. No, that was six. So we're moving on to seven, which is up here. And we have, I don't know, some kind of accessory, though. All right, we've got candles. Okay, there's stickers. So let's see. I'm guessing this goes like this. These are cool. Maybe that's not right. Maybe it's this way. Does it matter? I hope it's right. I probably should just, like look at instructions, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just push this up here. So we have candles and then we have like this and we have these bows here. We only have two bows. So I'm not sure what these three holes on the back side are for. Maybe just different ways to organize your bows. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm going to bring these a little bit closer to you guys so we can see them a little better and maybe put on some light so that you can see even more. All right, so we do have this sticker too. All right, let's go ahead and get this on here. I'm not sure, I'm gonna say this side. Maybe it's just like a picture frame, I don't know. Just decor, general decor. All right, that was seven. Let's go to door number eight. What do we have? We have another person. It's the other person baking in the kitchen. Oh, it's a kid. Okay, all right. That's awesome. We have a little stool for the baking process so we can reach the counters. And we got a little apron on there. That's awesome. And then I'm guessing this is like some kind of stir stick. Kind of looked like a baseball bat at first. Maybe, I don't know. Oop. Totally missed it. I don't know exactly what they're doing with this. I'm going to say, I don't know, some kind of stir stick or something. Paintbrush. It looks like a paintbrush. I don't know. But super cute. Love the little Christmas cookie on the apron. So number nine is this big one. Let's see what this is going to be. All right, we've got like the little oven set for the house. This is awesome. All right, so we have lots of pieces here. And we have a little door. So this is the base of it, right? And then I'm guessing this is the back. So we gotta put in, we'll put in the back first, I'm gonna guess. 
And then we'll go ahead and put the drawers in. Yes, got lots of storage here. Love to see it. And then we've got the oven doors. So do we want to put them in? I guess we just put them in this way. Yes. And then one more. So we got like an industrial. This is more like a bakery than a house. So it opens and closes like that. Really awesome. Lots of good stuff there. Okay, so that was nine. We're moving on to ten. Oh, the ten is ten's really stuck once again. Whew. How does it get so stuck? All right, what do we have? Something small. So we have just basic baking ingredients from what I can tell. We've got some eggs and maybe some flour and some, some other sugar and things. Oh, and we have the stickers for them. That helps. All right, so I will put stickers. So I guess they're both flour. I guess they need all the flour that they can get with, um, with everything going on, you know? All right, let's look. I cannot put these stickers on. Nope. Oh, there we go. So the flour and then the cookies picture on the back. Something like that. <laughs> I'm terrible at putting stickers on these things. Okay, one more. Oop, no, I didn't want to stick that there. Goodness. Okay, and then flour. Ta -da! Perfect. And then the eggs, of course. So, number 11 is our next door, which is right here. And again, we're going to have to like, poke a hole to get that one open. Alright. So, no stickers or anything. Just, just some utensils. So, we've got what looks like... Ooh, we get to build the rolling pin. Hold on. we got the rolling pin. Nice, and it actually rolls. Got the whisk, this hammer thing, and then this like frosting spread, or like this rubber spatula. And then door number 12 will be next. Where is 12? 12, there we are. All right, oh, door number 12. Come on, door, there we go. We have, I have no idea, something silver. Oh, it's a tray of, well, this actually is very interesting because it looks like a, like a cake, right? With like a piece taken out, but also it looks like cookies. So maybe it, it is just a tray of cookies and that's, I don't know why that's painted yellow. I'm just confused by that, but that's cool. And then, what is it? 13 will be next, just right here. We got the horsey! Yay! I love this horsey. It's, of course, one of the favorite pieces. The head can move up and down, too. So cute. And then 14 is up here. We've got our, I think, last person for this. This is the kid that's hanging outside with Santa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm dropping everything. But here he is, he has his cute little sweater on and then we'll put his little hat on. And then he has these cuffs that I gotta put on as well. There we go. And I cannot, no, oh no, these little pieces. Question, like why can't you guys come with the cuffs already on? That's the real question. I can't get it off. <laughs> there we go. And then he has a bunch of snowballs. He has four of them to be exact. He can only hold two here, so we'll just have that. And then here's the two other ones. All right, that was 14, right? Or was that 15? No, 15's here, so that was 14. Let's get 15 open. And we've got bunnies, yay! Oh my goodness, little bunnies. Look, there's one that's sitting and one that's standing. All right, 16 will be here. Got some good stuff in here. Got good stuff in every door. All right, this one is the snowman. So we're gonna have to throw on him, I believe. So here's his body. Here's the rest. Oh, his stick arm is stuck up in there. How will I get that? I don't, 
All right, don't do this at home, kids. You can probably damage your toy. Ah, got it. Okay. Okay, so we put the body on. Ta-da. Or the bottom half of the body. Then we put the stick arms in. And we put the other stick arm in. Oh, I broke this and didn't break it, but I popped the stick arm out. And then he has his shovel. Ooh, his hat. And his carrot nose. Nice. And then we have a shovel that I guess he can hold. So let's turn this and make sure. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't seem like his shovel wants to stay there. Good enough. Perfect. <laughs> Love to see it. So that was 16, 17. It's right here. Got something, something with stickers. Got lots of stickers. More ingredients, perhaps. Yeah, we've got like milks. There's. Okay, yeah, there's enough. To, there's sprinkles and like strawberries and things and what not. So we have the containers, which come with extra lids. I think. I don't know. Wait, what's happening here? So I'll put the chocolate. Do we wanna, do we, we don't need any, I don't know. I don't know what to put the stickers on. Um, we've got the chocolate sauce in a bag here, I guess. I was gonna say it's chocolate milk, but it literally just has chocolate bars all over it. And then we have this milk, clearly this one's a milk container one. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. There. Look at that, that's cute. And then we have these two jars, which can be the sprinkles and the strawberries, which makes sense. However, we have two brown lids and two pink lids, and I'm not sure if... Ah! Okay, I'm gonna put the pink lid on the sprinkles. I think we could just choose. I'm assuming we just choose. And then the other one is strawberry, so of course we gotta put a pink lid on that one too. So I guess nobody's getting a chocolate lid. I think we're just saving those. Not sure if that's just merely a choice or if that actually is for something later or what, but can't put stickers on. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. All right, <laughs> that one was not my best work, that's for sure. So these are all of the items we got, and then we have the two chocolate lids left over. And then that brings us to, what, 18? Sorry, I'm just like punching things. All right, we got 18. A Christmas cookie, so this is cookies on the tray. The other one just looks like cake, the one we looked at before. So we have cookies that need decorated still on the tray. Really awesome, that's probably one of my favorite pieces. And then 19 is over here. We have stickers, sleigh, it's a sleigh. Santa's sleigh, of course. How could I forget about Santa's sleigh? Okay, so we have, um, this will go here, I'm assuming. And this will go here. And then we will also attach this to here so the horse can also pull the sleigh like so. So you can if you wanted to. I'm not huge on horse carriages or sleighs or anything like that um, <laughs> because I just I don't think it's fair to the animals. But this is still fun. It's fun in a toy form, right? <laughs> I'll probably just have a, just a sleigh sitting there and have our horse going free. All right, 19, 20, 20, 20 is over here. Okay, oh, I forgot to put the stickers on the carriage. Sorry, I pulled 20 out, but let's quickly put the stickers on the sleigh before I forget and it ends in disaster. All right, one sticker that was not put on great. <laughs> I kind of missed it a little bit. All right, and then sticker number two. I also missed that one, but that's really cute. I like that winter scene. All right, so back to 20. Kind of looks like a bag. I don't know. What is this? Maybe it's just a bag. Oh, it's a bag of letters for Santa. I thought there, is there like something? Which door did I just get? 20. Is there stickers? There wasn't stickers. It just seems like there should be something right there, but we've got a bag of letters for Santa. I'm just double checking. I don't think I've got anything. All right. So that was 20, 21 is next. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got gift boxes. All right. So, how do we put these together is the real question. Now, it'll be easy. These look pretty, pretty simple for the most part. For the most part. <laughs> I say, famous last words. Um... Actually, no, are these presents? These aren't even presents. Actually, this probably goes in this way. Does it? I think so. Because it's like a box of ingredients or something. Or maybe it is a box of presents, but it's like baked good presents. No, I think they are boxes of presents. They're for Santa's bag. I'm looking at the picture right now. Can't get this end in. Oh no. Christmas is a disaster. Because I can't build the present boxes. Alright, here we go. Gotta fix this end though. Let's just try. That's good. And then we can go ahead and put it in Santa's bag, kind of. Not really. But we could put it in his sleigh. And then we've got this gift box, which I like a lot better because I don't have to put the sides together. And it's so cute. I love the print on this one. The other one's print was pretty cool, but it also was a little confusing. Like, is it a baked goods box? Or... Sort of gift, whatever. And this is really nice. So this is just cardboard. You can put anything in there, really. Well, anything that fits. <laughs> um, and then what was that? Was that 22? That was 21. We have 22 down here. So what do we have? We've got toys. Oh, so now we get the toys to put in the gift boxes. <laughs> That's not cool. I already closed the gift boxes up. But this is awesome though. I'm really excited. We oop, oop, we got like a little game controller. I'm not sure. I guess this is just a cell phone on a string. And then something. I'm just not sure how some of these pieces will fit together. If they do. You know. Like this one might fit together perhaps. It kind of seems like it does. But I'm also not entirely sure. I'm going to say yes it's supposed to. But... It's not like clicking, so I don't know. Anyway, we got some toys. Yay! All right, um, 21, 22. Where's 23? All right, we're getting down to it. We have squirrels! Squirrels! That's awesome. Two little squirrels, one running and one sitting. And then the last one, which is door number 24 for Christmas. We have a Christmas tree. I didn't even notice the Christmas tree in the in the illustration. So cool. And it's already decorated. So it's always cool getting like buildable Christmas trees, right? Um, and then having like those little ornaments that you could stick on them and fun things like that. But also at the same time, it's nice when it already comes decorated. Because you could still take off the ornaments and move them around. But this way... <laughs> They're already partially decorated, so yeah, don't have to worry about it. And then we just put this on top. Look at that. Wonderful. Love it. And that's everything. So let's go ahead. I'll display it on the little cardboard display we have, and you can take a closer look at it. All right, you guys, there is the display. It looks so lovely. I do love the touch of the display. It is just cardboard, though, so... It is a little on the flimsy side, but still something fun to play with. I'm really excited for this. And I love how we get both indoor and outdoor things. It's so cute. I'm so excited. I want you guys to let me know which piece is your favorite from this opening. I'm going to choose all of our little animal friends. I love our little horse and our squirrels and our bunnies. But let me know your favorite. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.